Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute of Designing and this is Six and Sunny. In this video we are going to look at the transportation add-on which can uh, help us to add vehicles to our scenes in Blender. So uh, we can create very good visuals, very stunning visuals using this add-on and create uh, animations for vehicles to create them in a more realistic manner. So let's look at how we can download this transportation add-on. It's a paid add-on. We just click on this transportation from the Blender Market website, blendermarket.com. You just get this uh, page where you can uh, purchase the transportation add-on. It costs you for the pro version, it is $79. And you have uh, a light version also, which is having around $49. So once you purchase this, you can download it from this download link here. If you just click on this, it will start downloading and you can see that it is getting downloaded. It is around 4.6 GB. So we'll just wait for uh, it to get downloaded. And what you do is like you just come to Blender and then go to Edit preferences and then come to install and then uh, go to the downloads folder and you can see that this transportation is there as a zip file you need not extract it you just install it uh, as we usually do for the add-ons just click on this and then click on install add-on so it directly installs from the zip folder just click on this and wait for some time it gets installed so now you can see that the transportation add-on got installed and then you just uh, give the tick here and then just say preferences now you can see that when you click on n you can see that the transportation add-on is here in this tab so just click on here you can see different types of car models and other vehicle models inside if you just click on this you can see the thumbnails and if you just click on one of these and if you just click on the add vehicle you can see there are different options to add this vehicle here it is uh, the options are like there is an hd version and a low poly version and you can add the vehicle to the center of the viewport or at the position where you have the cursor. You also have the option to snap the vehicle to the ground and make it editable for animation, which means that this can be animated and it is a rigged car. We have different options out here. If you just see the different categories, you have different items. If you just go into different items, you can see uh, different, different items inside. If you just come down, you have the urban and you have different cars inside. If you just go into the sports model also you have uh, some items here and if you just uh, go into the SUV you have uh, yet more other options out here so there are different options available you just click on one of these we'll take this jeep compass right now we'll uh, choose the HD version and then we'll just select center for the time being and then click on add vehicle now you can see that the car has been added into the scene and uh, if you just go into the edit mode, try to go into the edit mode, you can see that the edit mode is not available. So if you want to edit this, you have to come here and make this editable. So now you can see that this parts can be separately selected. And also you can see that uh, this can be animated. The tire is animated. It is also animated with the complete rigging inside and you can adjust with the steering and you have uh, all the options available here to do all the kind of animations with this car. Now if you just go into the post mode, just go to the post mode and select this and then if you just start moving, you can see that the tire is rotating. So it can be animated along a path. So if you just go into the material preview mode, you can see the actual color of this. So now you can see that this model is a very detailed model and then it is having a high poly as well as a low poly model. I have uh, currently taken the high poly model. So right now what I'm going to do is like I'll just simply animate this car along a path right now and before that I'll do a simple animation and show you how we can animate it uh, slightly from this position to this position. So we'll just position this in uh, one and then we'll just move uh, to 250 frames and then move this car from this position to this position for the time being. In order to do that we have to be in the post mode, select this rig and then just click on I and then click on location and rotation. So that a keyframe you can see that there is a keyframe which is available right now out here and then what you do is like you just select the 250th or whichever frame you want just select one of these and then what you do is like you just G uh, in Y direction and then move it slightly to this position and then what you do is like click on I and then location and rotation now you can see that this car moves from this position to this position in 250 frames so just click here and then click on play button you can see that the car is moving slowly from this position to this position in 250 frames. So this is a simple animation. 
Now what I'll do is like I'll just show you how we can animate this along a path. So in order to do that, we'll first of all remove the two keyframes out here. Just select these two, and then just remove it. And then make sure that the keys uh, are removed before doing a path animation because uh, if there is another keyframe on this, it will not work properly. Now what we'll do is like we'll just create a path. So in order to do that, we'll just go to the top mode and then uh, come here, just go into the object mode and then add a path in the curves. Just come to the curves and then come here and then find the path. So now you have a path here. I'll just move this to this position in order for you to see properly. And then what we'll do is like we'll just edit this path to have a curved path. So in order to do that, come here and then if you just go to the edit mode, you can see that there are five vertices or five points out here which can be uh, moved. And you can see that this is not an ordinary curve, it is a NURB path which can be altered by using these points. So just click on G and then just move. You can see that the vertices are at a different point and you have the path which is a curved path coming in. Just move it and adjust it. And you can see that we have an S-shaped path out here right now. We'll just move it slightly more. Now you can see that path is ready. We'll do one more thing. We'll just create a, a, a pathway out here, a driveway out here using the same curve. So in order to do that, we'll add one plane. Just add a plane here. So now we have a plane in the center. Just adjust the size of this. We have a two meter here. We'll just adjust it to around say five meter. You have the plane out here. So now what you do is like you just select this plane and then add a modifier called the array modifier. Come here and then add uh, array modifier. And you can see that in order to have the shape of this curve or fit in this curve, we need another option in the array that is called fit curve option. Just select that and just select the curve. So now you can see that there is uh, the length of this uh, array is matching with the curve but it is not following the shape of the curve. So what you do next is like you just come here and then uh, add one more modifier called curve modifier and then once again select the curve. So now you can see that it is having almost the shape of the curve but still it is not on the curve. If you want it to be on the curve what you have to do is like first you come here and then move the cursor from this position to the origin of the curve. So in order to do that, click on Shift S and then uh, you have to position the cursor to the selected object so that the cursor moves from this position to the origin of this curve. Next what to do is like you just select this object and then click on Shift S once again and then selection to cursor. So now you can see that it is in the proper uh, position. So now we have the driveway in position. So in order to move this along the path, what you have to do is like we just have to select the nerves path. Make sure it is the nerves path itself and not the driveway and then come here and then select this rig, this main rig and then what you do is like you just come to post mode. So right now it is in post mode and then we have to give one constraint to follow the path along this from 0th frame to uh, 250th frame. So make sure it is on the 0th frame. And then what you do is like you just uh, come here into the constraints you can see that uh, we have a bone constraint here just select the bone constraint and then give follow path and then just pick the curve once again make sure you are selecting the curve yeah so now you can see that the car is positioned in this area but if you just zoom it, you can see that it is not following the path properly. So in order to have the uh, car follow the path properly, you just click on follow curve. And you can see that the car is positioned in the opposite direction. You have to click on fix position as well. And then what to do is like in the y direction, if you want to move this car to uh, the opposite way, you just click on minus y so that it is positioned in the opposite way. Now what you can do is like if you just want to animate from this position to this position what you have to do is like just come here and then you can see that there is an offset factor here. So you just select this and then click on this button. So you can see that we have inserted a key here and just move this frame to the 250th frame. You can type it here also and then what you do is like you just 
uh, make this as one so that you can see that the car is at the end position now and then click here once again to add the key here also so you have two keys from uh, this position to this position if you start moving this you can see that the car is moving along the path we just zoom it and see you can see that it is moving along the path so right now it is moving along the path now the next thing which we have to do is like we have to make sure that it is sticking on to the ground if you have some variation on the ground it has to uh, act accordingly and move the shock ups and stuff like that so in order to do that we have to have one more add-on called rig a car so just come here and then find rig a car so just go into google and then type in rig a car add-on Rig a car add on, and then you can see that we have rig a car add on here. Just click on this and download rig a car. Download it. We have the rig a car add on here. Now come here and then edit preferences, and then just come to install, and then take the downloaded zip file and then click on install add on. You have the rig a car add on here just activate it and then save it so right now you can see that the rig a car add on is active here just click on this and then what you do is like you just select this and then click on bake car steering you have to make sure that you are in the post mode and then do bake car steering and then click on ok so you can see that the car steering will work from start frame of 1 and end frame of 250 click on ok so you can see a lot of keyframes have come here so the steering will work accordingly and then what to do is like you just have to come here to the ground sensors and then you have to select the ground plane so just select the ground plane like this in all sensors what i'm picking is the ground uh, driveway path so i've just selected all the uh, options out here as a driveway path and then it is ready right now what you have to do one more thing is like you have to bake the wheels now so bake wheel from uh, first frame to 250th frame and then click on ok so everything is ready now now if you just move it the car will move accordingly along this path so if you just come here and then you see in the long shot as well as the close up shot so just click on play button you can see that the car is moving along the path So that's ready right now and if you want to have a camera facing this car what to do is like you just have a camera here we'll just position it and then go to the object mode and then add a camera here we'll just position it here and then click on control alt and uh, uh, the numpad zero so that it is positioned properly so now you can see the path properly and then we'll animate it once again just click on the play button you can see the car coming from there and then it is just going on the path properly so with this you can create a lot of scenes with a lot of cars which can animate in the right way you can have a realistic view with this so try to use this add-on in your animations so that you can create very realistic renders out of it and another thing which i would like to tell is that we provide a professional 3d architectural and interior design uh, courses in our website called buildonideasonline.com if you are interested to uh, purchase one of those courses there are free courses as well as paid courses if you like to do some professional courses in interior and architectural designing please do subscribe to buildonideasonline.com and please do purchase the courses thank you